Hello fellow steamers, it is I Silent here once again showing off Steam CEP for the second time. So that is the Steam Client Enhancement Proxy. Basically what it does is it modifies and adds features to uh, the Steam website and community's traffic as it comes in, making it an overall safer and easier experience. I'll start off here by opening up someone's profile that I've decided to pick on today. Um, so this guy's Richard, 17 years old, likes to trade TF2. I just found this guy's profile off of uh, Steam Rep, by the way. Uh, he's interested in buying and selling TF2 items. 11-year account. I don't know, seems pretty legit to me, right? wrong. <laughs> Let's turn on the proxy here and uh, refresh the page. As you can see, uh, he's been reported as a scammer multiple times and is advised, it's advised to use caution with him, although he is a Steam Rep donator. If you click here, it will actually take you to the Steam Rep website of his, and display his profile so that you can get more details on the uh, on the accusations. Uh, so that was the first feature. Second feature isn't too different, but if you go under invites, it will also show you the statuses of people trying to add you. So if you're a trader or you just get a lot of friend invites from sketchy people, this will be of great usefulness, I guess. Uh, without being too intrusive, it will just show you what their status is. Uh, these two features have only been improved from my last video, however there's a completely new feature that I've been spending most of my time on, which is actually quite interesting. Here I have a virtual machine, so this is basically Windows running within Windows on my alt account, so I can actually interact between both accounts on the same computer. Now if I um, invite myself to trade on this one and then accept it for my main, you will automatically see that it there's a counter for items here. Um, however, that's not all. If I were to add an item, like say a Counter-Strike key, it will tell you how many items are in the trade and what the total value is. Now this is off of uh, last sold on the market. Add more, recalculates, and everything. This also works, of course, from the other end. So if I were to add a capsule here, one item at basically eight cents. And yeah, you just trade or whatever. Uh, that is all for this video. I am very interested in hearing your feedback, whether or not you would use such a thing. Anything really. I mean, I. I'm working on this project in my free time and I would like to know if I'm doing good and I'm going to be accomplishing my goal or if it's just, you know, a waste of my time and whatnot. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to stay updated in uh, the development progress, you can follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description below. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.